we have yet another super old, super rare game here. Midway's TV Basketball. Looks like it can be either two player or four player. Um, yeah, one coin, two players, two coins, four players. I don't think it's working, but we'll plug it in. Um, I plugged it in once and it didn't do, I, I don't remember what it did, but I know it didn't work. We'll see what it did. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, it's one of these old coin doors with the start button here on the coin door. Uh, cabinet's in really good shape. I don't see evidence of water damage, but yeah, doesn't look like it's been wet. Well, maybe it's a little either that or I just, I don't know. It doesn't look bad to me. Not like a lot of the others that I'm selling. I don't think there's water damage down there. Um, it's super clean. Got the original back door with the original key, I believe. Super clean inside. I guess let's just take this back door off. And that way when we plug it in, we'll see if we're getting neck glow. Seeing if the board's doing anything. Um, but yeah, look at that. Board looks real clean. No chips to reseed. Everything's soldered into the board. So can't do the easy fix. Interesting monitor. It's another Motorola, it looks like, with this interesting frame. That same real similar monitor. There we go. There's the model number. Oh, interesting. Sound. The volume is here. Weird. Huh. What does that say the model number is? XM500. Okay. Uh, similar to the one that's in that Grand Track 10, it looks like. Maybe a smaller version. That looks like a smaller monitor. All right, so let's plug this in, see what happens. All right. Try the power switch up here. Hmm. Definitely see neck glow and I hear the monitor. It sounds like it should. Marquee's lighting up there. And looks like we're getting raster. Okay, so we got a working monitor. <laughs> There's enough burn in the tube to look like it's working, but that is just a uh, screen burn from the baskets, it looks like. I'm guessing that there were little paddles that you moved, like little uh, flat disc things that you move back and forth, just like Pong, and the ball probably bounced on them. I'm not sure, but that, that would be my guess. So, looks like... Looks like the board is not working for whatever reason. Are there a lot of electrolytic caps? Looks like there are. So that'd probably be the first thing I would do is replace all those caps and all the tantalum caps, might as well. And then I would run out of things to do because I'm not very good at board repair, but there's other people that are. I'm sure you could get that board serviced. So there you have it. Um, cabinet number 232. Very, very unusual to find a game this old and this good a condition, in my experience. It's, I mean, even to find a game this old is hard, but to find one in this condition, they're usually real far gone by now. So, bid accordingly, as your heart tells you.